I will often say to like people who are my age that you work with how much <laughs> I admire and respect the way you handle social media because it always seems, you know, you're you're that generation where everything is shared and you have to as a as a as a public figure decide how much to share and what not to share. But it yeah. always seems like the filter that you do it through is to help other people because you've you know you've talked about your own struggles not in a self-pitying or exploitive way you really talk about it to way to help young women and you know and seem to be aware that a lot of young women are looking up to you and listening to you and I think that's great thank you so much I really appreciate that um yeah I think like I always say it was it was really a hard thing for me to come around to because I never really wanted to be someone who spoke out about things and like I don't know I just was like I am actor and that is all I do and then you know anything else has nothing to do with me you know um and I was just terrified of it I think of like being that personal and like not knowing what to say I don't know there's just a lot of fear wrapped up in all of that especially when it's like foreign territory um but then I, I think at a certain point I kind of like reflected and I was like you know what I struggled so much with certain things when I was younger and like I wish I had you know, someone yeah. who I looked up to utilizing their platform in a way that made me feel more confident and made me feel exercise a little bit more self-love. And I think like it, it started to make me realize like the power and the the genuine influence you can have in, a, in such a positive way over young women and men, you know? Um, yeah. And so I, it, you can really see that that's the filter that you use and it's, I, I think it's it's a force for good when it can be really bad, you know. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. I noticed um, that you had also there were there were some false accusations made, uh, apparently false accusations made against some of the other cast members. And yeah. today, uh, you you came to their defense, but you actually used the opportunity to, in addition to having their back, your friends and colleagues, you also wrote, um, it, it's not worth damaging the integrity of the Me Too movement. And mm -hmm. that's such an important, that's, that, that is really the meat of it right there. And I, anyway, yeah. I love that you said that. Thank you. Yeah, it's so insane to me that somebody would do such a thing um, to prove a point. It seems so trivial, like, oh, really you went to that extent to damage not only the integrity of the Me Too movement, but also like potentially damage the careers of these people and their lives. Um, to do that in order to make a point about how easily people believe things is just like, it's so, it's so backwards to me. Um, and I, I feel for my castmates who had to deal with that. 